Hi, I'm Paul and I have been in the motor industry for approaching 40 years now and I particularly for the last 22 years specialised in tuning and remapping. And during that time we've sold and trained most of the main tuning tools on the market and software as well of course. So today I'm absolutely delighted to welcome Thomas from Team FR who of course produced the Auto Tuner tuning system. So Thomas, if I can please ask you to introduce yourself. Yeah, sure. Hi Paul, uh, thanks for welcoming us. Uh, I'm Tommaso, uh, I work as a sales representative for AutoTuner for almost uh, three years already. So my role at AutoTuner is to take care of uh, all the commercial uh, activities uh, for the company and to boost uh, the brand uh, uh, worldwide. Perfect, great, thank you very much for the introduction. So you join us hot on the back of the Auto Mechanica show in the UK. How was the show for you guys? Yeah, it was a really nice show for us. It was a big success. We were really, really happy to, to be there. It was an opportunity for us to, uh, to meet and discuss with our users and uh, with our official uh, distributor because yeah, UK is a very important market for us uh, and uh, we wanted to be there. It was our first time here in the UK. So yeah, it was a really big uh, success and we are quite satisfied of the results and uh, all the feedback we received from our users. Uh, it was a really nice experience to be here. That's great. Yeah, and of course, you're very, very welcome. How are you finding the UK summer? Well, it's uh, most uh, similar like uh, like in the in Luxembourg, so it's very rainy and pretty cold. But uh, yeah, UK is a really lovely country. So. so after this show, where are you going next? What are the next plans? Where can your customers come and see you? Well, uh, the next show is in uh, uh, Mexico. Uh, it's going to be in July. Uh, in the middle of July. Uh, we're going to have our booth there and uh, we will be uh, um, together with uh, our local partner that uh, has a better knowledge of the market. So it's going to be there to help us and give us feedback. Then we're going to have like a summer break and then we start uh, uh, back in uh, October. Um, so in autumn, better. And uh, we're going to attend a show in, uh, in Paris, the Equipe Auto uh, show. And then we have, of course, the SEMA show in Vegas. And then we're going to close the year in December uh, at Auto Mechanica in Dubai. Okay, well, that's a really fun, packed, full year by the sound of it. In fact, actually, I think we've got booths right next to you in SEMA. So, we, you know, everybody loves SEMA. We're really looking forward to it. And, yeah, we're going to be neighbours there. So yeah. that's great. I hear you say you're going to Mexico, a big growing market for you there? Well, uh, yeah, actually, it's a very important market for us. Uh, actually, the purpose of being there is yeah, to, to better know the market, to, to hear a little bit the feedback of, uh, of uh, clients, of people there, understand what they need, uh, if our tool matches their needs uh, and see what can be improved in order to uh, uh, spread uh, the auto tuner sales also in, uh, in this market. OK, so big grow market. That's fabulous. I guess one of the things that everybody is talking about at the moment is SID 220. Yeah. and you are one of the companies that has launched SID 212 and you know thank god it's been so long but of course at this time we're predominantly offering a mail service so send the ECU in um, not really of course ideal for many customers particularly I think with the SID 212s that are diesel being working vehicles that are potentially being used every day unlike perhaps something like a BMW unlock that might be a, a weekend driving car Everybody wants to know, can we have it on the tool? Can we do this in-house? Is it likely to come at some point? Well, uh, indeed, SAD 212 was a, a great release because yeah, everybody was uh, waiting for, for that protocol. And uh, yeah, for time being, the, the protocol will be available after a remote unlock that will be performed in our headquarter in, uh, in Luxembourg. Uh, we are aware that it's not the best solution for, for clients because, yeah, uh, you need to mail us the, the ECU so we can unlock it uh, in, our, in our workshop. But, uh, yeah, there are some reasons behind uh, that, uh, um, behind this um, process. And the main one is that, uh, yeah, we want to protect the, the solution, mm -hmm. uh, first of all, from the competitors, because, yeah, we don't want uh, it to be sniffed uh, quickly. Because, yeah, as you probably know, we invest uh, really a lot of energy in, uh, in the R&D. So it's our interest to protect uh, that, uh, that solution. And secondly, we also want to protect it from the manufacturer, because, yeah, uh, right. manufacturer, if uh, we release it like uh, officially in OBD or Bench, uh, it's 
quietly easy, quite easy for the manufacturer to um, to understand how we uh, uh, break the code, and they can put a patch on it and they can lock it again. So uh, we, uh, for time being, we, uh, this protection must be uh, protected as much as we can. So we have to uh, uh, take and uh, receive all issues in our headquarters. We're gonna test them. We're gonna check that uh, there is no sniffing device on it, and then we uh, can unlock it and uh, we'll ship back to customer and uh, they can uh, uh, for future uh, read and write them in uh, OBD. That's very interesting. I think a lot of tuners would probably think you're holding on to this to stop the competitors getting it and give you the advantage. But the, the point you make about keeping the manufacturers out of the solution as well, I guess it's something a lot of people didn't think about. So I guess in summary, no sign of it yet, maybe perhaps not in this year anyway on the tool, but in future, perhaps if it gets out generally, you uh, you don't want to be the first ones to release it on a tool, I guess is, is how you feel about that at the moment. Yeah, sure. I mean, as I said, the uh, AutoTuner uh, has uh, uh, invested a lot of energy in the R&D. Uh, we develop our solutions uh, internally. Uh, so uh, for us, uh, it's important to always uh, uh, release and uh, uh, give new solutions to, uh, to customers. So we want that AutoTuner uh, covers uh, as many vehicles as, uh, as possible. Mm. So uh, as I said, this uh, solution, this remote unlock may not be the best solution, but at least it keep us it, it, it helps us uh, uh, continuing and uh, keeping the development uh, further. All right, great. Love the information. Thank you very much for that. And I know, I know people watching this will be fascinated by that. So other really exciting news we've had this year, which I think first started at SEMA last year as you know an initial launch, and now we've had a full-blown launch, is the one. Um, and I actually said we, we purchased the one, we have it now here and we're just developing our training videos on it. And, you know, it's a fabulous bit of kit and the app behind it is incredibly powerful, very nice to use. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the one? And I guess the real question everybody wants to know is when can we get a full application list on it? When will we see the auto tuner tool application list on the one tuning tool? Is that kind of in the pipeline? And please tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, uh, actually, yeah, the one is our new uh, product that we uh, uh, really during the last uh, SEMA show in uh, in 2024, uh, it's we're quite happy of uh, of the success of this uh, device because uh, already immediately after the release in, uh, in at the SEMA show we received a lot of pre-orders. Uh, and then we uh, officially release it uh, this uh, April and uh, uh, people still uh, ordering because yeah, they understand the concept behind uh, the, the one. So I think it's uh, a good alternative for tuners uh, to uh, give them an opportunity to uh, expand uh, their business uh, uh, internationally. Uh, so as you said, for the, uh, for the final customer, so in, in this, uh, for the one we talk about private customer, uh, the, the use of an application is very uh, intuitive and easy to use. And for, for the tuner uh, on tuner side, uh, the, they have a, a completely white label solution. It means that uh, the device can be sold at their, as their own uh, personal uh, uh, flasher. Uh, regarding uh, the compatibility, well, the purpose is uh, for the future to implement all the OBD protocols uh, from the tool into the uh, one, but it's something that uh, takes time, of course, because, yeah, we're going to uh, adapt the, the protocols uh, because, yeah, the hardware is not the same. We're talking about a little small device and, of course, the, the, the target. So it's a final, uh, it's a private customer that uh, doesn't uh, have the knowledge uh, of a mechanic, for example. So we need to uh, make the protocol uh, as safe as possible for the final uh, customer so he can use the device uh, safely. Yeah, yeah, of course, that makes makes a lot of sense. So it's going to be continuously released, I guess, over the coming months. We'll just see the sure. application list grow and grow. Great news for everybody. It is a very nice little device indeed. At the moment, I think your coverage is growing really strong. I mean, we see releases all the time. I think it's fair to say at the moment you seem to predominantly be cars and light commercials, not so much heavy commercials, marine and tractors. Is that on purpose or are those vehicles likely to be added to at some point? Well, actually, um, uh, the goal is, to, of course, to cover as many vehicles as possible. But, uh, yeah, we cannot do everything uh, uh all at once <laughs> all at once yeah so it's something that takes time of course mm. uh it, the r&d or uh, 
sometimes people don't really get uh, how much time and energy the R&D takes mm -hmm. for, for us. So of course we have uh, an agenda, so we know the priorities and the goal is to uh, uh, develop uh, uh, even more solutions for, uh, to unlock new, uh, new vehicles. Uh, we know what uh, we have uh, we have to do we just need uh, uh, yeah time of course and uh, uh, check what uh, the priorities are how big is the team now in, in the head office well uh, currently uh, we are around uh, 50 uh, people five zero 50 yeah 50 people that's yeah. grown so much over the years yeah exactly. you, you were much yeah. smaller quite some yeah, time actually, ago uh, when I joined the auto tuner almost three years ago we were uh, around uh, 15 20 people yeah yeah that's so, kind of how I remember yeah that. The, the company is growing uh, fast mm. uh, that, that's good because yeah uh, we uh, we're happy how auto tuner is uh, is growing mm. uh, and uh, so the main uh, team team is in Luxembourg, so our headquarters is in Luxembourg, mm -hmm. uh, but we also have a team that works in Belgium, so uh, mainly the support and the R&D department works uh, in Belgium, right. and then we have in uh, Luxembourg uh, the sales team, the packaging team, so where all tools uh, and uh, accessories are shipped, and uh, the, uh, the billing department as well is, uh, is in Luxembourg. So it's great to hear that you're growing so much. Where do you feel the action is at the market at the moment? So what countries are particularly growing? Um, what vehicles are particularly uh, you know, important to you? Well, where, where's the tuning market going for you at the moment? Well, uh, our main market, of course, is Europe, uh, where there's a strong demand for auto-tuner tools. Uh, but of course, we try also to develop uh, new markets that are uh, as important, uh, as much important as a uh, European one, um, because yeah, there is a huge potential in, uh, in uh, other countries. Um, well, I think the tool, uh, uh, the, 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 the fact that the tool covers already a lot of uh, vehicles, so mainly uh, European vehicles, mm -hmm. this helps us enter in uh, different markets uh, and uh, uh, spread yeah, the, the sales so, uh, a little bit, uh, I mean, worldwide, yeah, so. Okay, great. Um, I know you probably can't say too much, but obviously everybody wants to know what's next. We've had SID 212 and we understand that. Uh, can you give us any sneak previews of what else we might be able to be seeing throughout the rest of this year? Well, uh, actually, uh, we cannot tell you uh, uh, anything about that. You know, even as for, for us, for sales uh, department, we are really not aware of what's uh, going on in the R&D. It's something, uh, I wouldn't say secret, but uh, yeah, we... Uh, um, we we want to protect you know our our job so what we do so yeah surely there will be uh, new uh, services and new solution coming in the next uh, in the next weeks so uh, all I can say is just yeah stay tuned and follow us in social medias to uh, understand to Valley <laughs> kind of knew that was going to be the answer yeah. but we had to well, you know can we get insider knowledge. I guess something everybody is focusing on a little bit to some extent, depending on what country you're based on, is electric vehicles. Yeah. And I will put my hand up and say, I thought about 10 years ago, this industry is, is you know, under real pressure. But actually, all we've seen it do is grow and grow. Tuning is still hugely under demand. But we do have in the background the permanent talk about electric vehicles. How does that factor into um, auto tuner? What are your thoughts about the industry and where it goes next? Well, for, uh, for time being, uh, uh, we think that uh, the, the tuning industry uh, has still a future, uh, despite the fact that the electric uh, cars are uh, spreading uh, a lot uh, internationally. Uh, but I think that uh, uh, knowing uh, how uh, auto tuner works and uh, we are really uh, careful about the new trends in the automotive industry, so I'm uh, pretty confident that uh, auto tuner will uh, come up with uh, uh, some solution to uh, also be able then to uh, uh, to cover also a more even more uh, electric uh, vehicles. Okay, future, yeah. that's absolutely fascinating. I'm sure everyone will be absolutely delighted to hear that. Um, Thomas, it's been an absolute delight to meet you. I'm glad your show was very good and productive for you. I'm really looking forward to seeing you guys in SEMA. Everybody loves SEMA, of course. And thank you very much for your time. I'm sure everybody will find that very, very interesting. Thanks for having us. It was a pleasure uh, to, to meet you. And uh, it was a, a pleasure to discuss with you today. Uh, yeah, uh, we are quite happy to, to meet you again at uh, the next uh, SEMA show. And uh, yeah, uh, keep following us because yeah, great news uh, are, are coming uh, for future.